What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Mark coming back at y'all again. And tonight, what I want to do is do another vocal analysis video for y'all. And this time, it will be on none other than the late great Barry White. Now, I was on YouTube um, tonight looking at a lot of his old live performances from the 70s all the way up until the early 2000s before he passed and everything. And I also listened to some of his music from the early 60s before he became Barry White or before he became popular, so to say. And I'm going to just give you all my thoughts about what I think about his voice. And of course, y'all know I have everything written down in my notebook, so I'm going to be reading my notes off my notebook and stuff like that. So with all that being said, I'm going to just get on right into this vocal analysis. Okay, here we go. So let me just talk about Barry White's voice type first. I think that he was a bass baritone. And the reason why I think he was more of a bass baritone instead of a true bass is because I really don't think his voice was all that deep to begin with. Like, um, the only time when he would really sing low is when he's actually talking. Well, which is not really singing, you know, because if you notice, like, in the beginning of his songs, you know, that's the only time when he would actually speak low or anything like that. Not to say he don't sing low at all, because he would sometimes on certain songs. But he would mostly be speaking low, you know, especially in the beginning of, of some of the songs. So that's the reason why I think that he was more of a bass baritone instead of a true bass. Now, if he was in a choir, will I place him in the bass section of the choir? Yes. Um, in fact, he might be singing like first bass or something like that, but he'll definitely be a bass in the choir for sure. So let me just talk to y'all about the other things about Barry White's voice. His lowest note that I heard him sing was an F2. His highest belter note was an A4, and his highest note overall is a B4. So that's over two octaves. Um, his comfort zone lies roughly between the lower third octave and the low to mid fourth octave. He rarely sung in his falsetto and mostly sung in his chest voice because that's what lower voices tend to do. You know, they tend to be more comfortable singing in their chest voice, whereas higher voices like sopranos or tenors, they're more comfortable singing in their mixed voice or in their head voice or falsetto and what have you. So that's what Barry White mostly did. Um, what's another thing I've noticed? Um, I've noticed that in the beginning of his career, um, in the early 60s, he really didn't sing that low, you know, at all. Like, he was mostly belting in his mid-chest register or in his mid-belting register. Like, he would sing low in a couple of songs, but, you know, he would mostly be belting most of the time. And the only time when I really heard him sing in falsetto, was um a couple of actually it was one song like from the early 60s i can't really think of, think of the name of the song but you know that was the only time when i really heard him sing a falsetto you know i rarely hear him sing a falsetto at all because like i said before he would mostly be singing in his chest voice you know when he's singing low and stuff like that um and y'all i don't mean to sound like a hater or anything like that but I've noticed that in his live performances, like when he would be belting in his mid chest register, you know, it sounds like he's shouting, like he's not really singing. Like the only time when he's actually singing is when he's singing low. And another thing that I don't really care too much about Barry White is that um, his voice lacks vibrato. You know, it really has little to no vibrato at all. Like, I don't know, like, it just sounds like he's shouting, you know, when he's belting, you know, in his mid-chest mid register. You know, that's what I've noticed in Barry White's live performances. And plus, I think he could be a little inconsistent at times. And I've noticed that I think he was a smoker because I, sm I saw him smoke in one interview. So that could be the reason why um, some of his performances have been very consistent. You know what I'm saying? And of course, y'all know that smoking is not good for your voice at all because 
it don't necessarily make you lose your voice, but it kind of makes you lose the luster in your voice. It kind of makes you lose your the thumbprint of your voice, so to say. And I think I said before how in the beginning of his career in the early 60s that he really didn't sing that low to begin with. Like he was mostly belting um, in his mid-register. And it wasn't up until like in 73, that's when he became very popular. You know, that's when he started to change his style a little bit, you know. That's when he would start to um, place his voice lower than what it actually was before. And I kind of like it that way. You know, I prefer Barry White's lower register than um, as opposed to him belting. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about Barry White's voice. I hope you all enjoyed this analysis. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.